Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm asking one very specific question. What would it look like if, and it's a big if, Heineken were to make craft beer? Specifically, I mean in terms of visuals. So as a little technical design project for myself, I'm going to be trying to envisage what a Heineken craft beer can and a kind of Instagram style advertisement might look like. So let's get into it. Here we go then, I'll be using Photoshop for this along with some stock imagery to help us on the way and of course a few bits of Heineken's existing branding and artworks to assist with kind of some notion of reality. The very first thing I'm going to do is use Unsplash, a free stock uh, photo service to find a stock image of a craft beer can that suits our needs. Ideally, I'm looking for something that doesn't have a convoluted background and is also quite a flat image. Effectively, I'm looking for a fairly bland photo as a starting point because it will just help more with the base can design. This one from Big Spruce Brewing, a can of their Kitchen Party Pail, which sounds delicious, seems like just the ticket. The first part of this task is really just to remove all notion of the original can's branding and identity. So, well, sorry, Big Spruce, but we need a clean canvas to start with for our own concept. You'll notice here that I'm keeping some of the small details from the original can, such as the word organic near the top lip and the beer style, uh, given it's pretty generic, also the ABV and volume info, because well, this just helped with a bit more realism in the end piece. It is an original piece of artwork then. The first real amendment needed is a change of colour for the can. Heineken is strongly associated with the green colour they use for pretty much everything, so let's make that our starting point. Next, I'm going to grab what I believe is the most appropriate Heineken logo and a geometric design pattern as a basis, though to be honest these ones weren't really doing it for me. I use the Vecteasy website to find something a little more suitable. They offer quite a large range of free to use vector images, but they do require attribution. So Vecteasy, here's some attribution for you. Getting the geometric pattern and the logo to blend nicely was a bit trickier than I first thought, but no one ever designed anything perfectly the first time round, so with a few back and forths with this until we find something that feels just right. Changing the beer style text now to be more appropriate for their actual product, starting off with manipulating the existing characters and soon realising, well to be honest it was a bit of a waste of time and some simple text would work just as well. Having now opted for a simplified version of the Heineken logo using just the H, it felt more craft but a little bit too basic, so it's time to add a bit of flair. Now before anyone shouts out, yes I know Heineken is Dutch, but here's a little known fact for you, there were in fact Dutch Vikings, which is probably not that much of a surprise given its proximity to Denmark, and to be honest that felt like an aptly craft theme that could be nicely interpreted in a modern way. Not too on the nose, just something evocative of burly sea masters, great fjords, mountains and so on, you know, the, the great outdoors if you will. 
The Twin Axe and Shield logo utilised here was once again from Vecteasy, so again, another necessary attribution for them here. I still wasn't quite smitten though with the way the pattern and colours fitted over the can, so time to rectify that just a bit. Uh, and also incorporating that Nordic Axe theme into the logo rather than just a floating asset, giving it something more or instantly recognizable as a brand, which is obviously important for any craft beer business. So with the essence of the can complete, it's now time to create a background and atmosphere for the advert itself. I'm gonna continue down the Nordic Viking outdoors theme with this beautiful backdrop here. A fair bit of tidying up needed now, given the drastic color profile differences between the background and foreground images, but it will all be worth it in the end. Of course, we need to add some supporting text, got to get the word craft in there somewhere. And finally, a little throwback to Heineken's original branding with the ever recognizable red star. I opted to remove the established from content as it's not really the done thing in the craft scene. It's all about new and modern, not how long you've been about. And there we have it then, the final product, or at least the final advertisement for a theoretical product. Let me know in the comments below if you'd buy from Heineken if they went down this particular branding route. And of course, let me know which brand I should do next. One thing I have noticed though, it's a bit funny when you step back from something you've been working on as you start to notice things that you hadn't before. The use of the axes and the red star is actually very evocative of Witchwood's Hobgoblin, especially given that the letter H is the first letter of both of those brands. But, well, it's a bit late now, it's done. But maybe it could work for them too. And that is everything. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it if you haven't already subscribed, if you will be so kind, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.